Hello, and welcome to Learning Science by Being a Scientist. In this video, we are going to explore how and why scientists ask questions. Science is all about asking questions about what is happening, how it happens, and why it happens. Whether we are asking about things as tiny as atoms or as vast as the universe, this means scientists ask a lot of questions. The questions we as scientists ask are what drive everything else we do. Questions lead to investigations, and the results of investigations help us answer our questions, which usually leads to more questions, but more on that later. So what kinds of questions do scientists ask? We ask about the things we observe. We ask about what is going on in the world around us. We ask questions about why something happens. We ask questions about problems and needs. And who do we ask? We ask each other, our fellow scientists. We ask our teachers. We ask experts. And how do scientists answer these questions? We conduct investigations. We explore and observe and measure. We research and read, and we design and test. But we don't just ask any question. Scientists ask testable questions. So what are testable questions? They are questions you can answer by conducting a test, an investigation, or a scientific experiment. But what does that look like? What is a question you can answer with an investigation or an experiment? What kind of plant food will produce more flowers? What causes the length of a shadow to change? How can I make sugar dissolve faster in my drink? How can I keep my food warm in my lunchbox on a cold day? These are all questions that you can conduct a test or experiment or investigation to answer. By an investigation, by conducting an investigation, you gather data in the form of observations and measurements. This data is a recording of what has happened, and that helps you answer your question. So what are non-testable questions? They are questions you cannot answer with a test, investigation, or experiment. What does my dog think about me? Why is the color blue my favorite color? Why do you like chocolate ice cream more than vanilla? Why is Carla the coolest person in school? These are questions that are more or less based on opinions. You would have a really hard time getting observations or measurements that would provide a reliable answer to these questions. This means we cannot do a scientific test to answer them. They are non-testable questions. So where do our testable questions come from? Sometimes they come from our curiosity. We want to know why or how something happens. We want to know what is going on. Sometimes our questions come from the need for the answer. We need to know how to solve a problem. We need to know why a problem exists. We need to design a solution to de or a device to solve the problem or meet the need. Sometimes scientists need to learn more about something in order to know what are the best questions to ask. This means research. This means reading books, watching videos, asking experts, and going online to learn. So there you have it. Being a scientist means asking questions. Without questions, scientists would have nothing to do. Worse, without questions, you won't learn about the world around us. So go out and be the best scientist you can be. Ask lots of questions. Thanks for watching. Come back soon to watch more videos about what scientists do. And remember, the best way to learn science is to be a scientist, and that means doing what scientists do.